Hello, my name is Nigel Bowden. I'd like to welcome you to lesson number six, part three in our video series about Microtik scripting. And uh, just want to remind you that uh, I'm the author of the book Microtik scripting, which is available from Amazon. If you'd like to purchase a copy, it covers all of the topics plus much, much more uh, that we've um, been looking at within this video series. And also like to remind you if you'd like to uh, give me some likes on some of the videos I've produced and maybe subscribe to the channel, that would also uh, help the channel too. And uh, maybe that in the future I'll record a few more videos if there's uh, enough interest in uh, in this series. So we're going to dive straight back into uh, testing the uh, Telegram reporter script and see if we can get some messages into our bot. So let's dive straight back into it. So I'm going to open our copy of VSC. And I'm also going to op open the Telegram um, app here on the right as well. And before I go any further, I'm just going to switch off my there we are. Switch my uh, headshot off so you can see what's going on in the uh, Telegram app. So just to recap where we are, we are actually uh, we've got the Telegram reporter script. Uh, here on the left and I've actually set debugging to true so we can see what's going on at each stage of the uh, process as we're testing this. Uh, we've actually got um, Telegram app on the right and at the end of the previous video we created our bot and if I go back to this bot father uh, conversation you can see here there's the link that we can use to get back to our bot so we'll click on that and you can see we're basically um, uh, now in a conversation with the Microtik bot and this is where we will see any messages that we get. So I'm just going to hit start on that so we start a conversation with the bot and uh, next thing that we're actually going to do is try running our um, Telegram reporter script for the first time to see what we get out of it and just to um, just a quick recap uh, we discussed in the previous episode that the two things that we need to speak with the bots are the, uh, the uh, token that we get uh, which is sort of like a, a long sophisticated unguessable password that only we have to be able to talk to this bot and we also need a chat id which we need to derive uh, from some of the responses that we get back from the bot so once we've got our, our um, token and we've got our chat id then we're good to go so theoretically um based on the code review we did previously as we don't have a chat id yet we should um first time we run the script we should hopefully try and derive our um, our chat ID. So let's give it a go and see what happens. Don't forget, I've got debugging enabled, so hopefully we'll see what happens at every stage. So I'll just do import telegram reporter. There we go. And we'll run that for the first time. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, that was quite interesting. That's, um, let me just make this a little bit bigger so we can review exactly what happened there. It sort of flew up the screen a little bit. So here we go. We have actually uh, got a debug message saying uh, we're starting to process the queue. Uh, and the Telegram queue is the thing that we will process to get all of the alerts and send them into the um, uh, the Telegram bot. And we see this message here. We haven't got a chat ID, which is what we were expecting. And so what we, um, what the script actually does, it uh, sends an initial query to the bot. And you can see we get all of this data. There's a whole load of things that we get back. But the thing that we're interested in seeing is um, the actual chat ID itself. And if you look in the it's difficult to, to spot, but if you look in the text of the response that we get back, we've actually got this bit of text here, which has got the chat ID in it. And if you remember when we did our regular expression match before, uh, this will hopefully look familiar. We had a look for this string here to see uh, where it is. So we could actually then use an offset to um, pull out the, um, the chat ID that we need. So if we scroll down a little bit, after all of this data, the next thing that happens is we have a message to say we're trying to extract the chat ID. This is the actual chat ID that we um, extracted. Uh, so if uh, I don't know if you remember as well, there's actually a format check to make sure that we only get a, a chat ID that contains numbers. Uh, so we obviously pass the formatting check, otherwise the script would have exited at that point. Um, at the moment, there are no entries in the um, Telegram queue array. And um, so that's as far as things go on this initial run. So um, so that's um, that's our initial run to generate our chat ID. So let's try running 
it again and we'll see what we get on the second run. There shouldn't be any alerts or anything to send as yet. Uh, and yet we can see um, uh, there's nothing going on at the moment. Um, we've got zero entries in there, so there's nothing to do. So let's give it a little bit of something to do. What we'll do is uh, that we'll actually create um, uh, create some values within the Telegram queue um, global variable. And if we do that, that will hopefully um, simulate uh, getting some um, uh, events from our um, uh, probe scripts into the queue ready to be processed. So let's uh, let's see if we can just actually uh, set something there. So what I shall do, I'll do global uh, telegram queue and we'll just put in a dummy initial variable, sorry, an initial string to just make sure we can actually process something and there we go. So I've actually, oops, sorry, I've got a, a syntax error there. So now I've just created the Telegram cube array, put a single value in of hello. Okay, so that's now sitting in the Telegram queue. If I just go and check that over on uh, a Winbox, you can see there we've got that single value. So now if we run the script again, theoretically, if everything is working as expected, we should, our script should process that and send it to the bot. Here we go, and there we go. You can see we've actually got this message that's popped up at the bottom there, and just looking at the debugging, we can see uh, it started processing the queue. It's found that there's one entry. It's gonna send a message to Telegram. This is the message it's going to send, and we got to the end of the script without any errors. So it's, it's all looking good. It's looking pretty, uh, pretty uh, interesting. <laughs> so now the real, um, the real sort of uh, proof of the pudding, as they say here in the UK, is that we're going to actually fire up our uh, probe uh, scripts and see if we can generate some real data. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to our um, uh, copy of Winbox and we're going to go to the system scheduler. And you can see at the moment we've got um, we've just got the uh, three existing probe scripts, and I'm going to enable those so they become live and they start doing their thing. And what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to make them run a little bit more frequently because when we're trying to test, it's uh, it's no good if they only run every 15 minutes. We'll get fairly bored fairly quickly. So I'll run that one. I will run this one here every minute and what we'll do we'll go in uh, to the scripts and actually give them some more um, uh, reasonable thresholds they're going to trigger quickly so that we can make sure that they all work okay so they're all now running every minute uh, oh, I also need to actually add the um, uh, the uh, the schedule entry uh, for the telegram reporter so we'll call this telegram reporter and we'll just do our import command telegram reporter dot rsc oops i've got a typo there good job i spotted that that would have been a bit annoying there we go so that's going to run we'll get that to run every minute as well so that we can see things nice and quickly in fact i'll run that one every 30 seconds so we can sorry <laughs> we can see that running a bit more regularly. There we go. Okay, so they're all running away now. And uh, we can, it looks like we've already actually had a failure come. And if I go back to the, um, no, no, we haven't. Sorry, I thought I'd seen an alert pop up there. So let's run our script again. Let's just see what, uh, ah, no, we, are, we actually have already had one uh, come in. We've already had an alert come in because I've uh, got the block still on the marketingscripting.com site. I don't know if you remember on our web monitor um, script. I'll just go back and review that quickly. We've got uh, four sites that we were trying to hit uh, with the web monitor scripts. And I've actually got a firewall block already on microtickscripting.com. So it's, it's already working. But let's test the other two as well. Uh, so I will also go to the temperature checker. And we'll I'll change that to a lower temperature so that we should fire off a alert from that. And I'll also do the same for the interface utilization. I'll just set one of the 
um, one of the thresholds so it's a little bit lower. I think at the moment it's set for, yeah, 10 meg and 70. So I'll just set the uh, receive threshold for 10k, which is ridiculously low. So we should get plenty of alerts there. So let's just hit that. Okay, so theoretically now I've made those changes, both of those, all of those scripts got uploaded. And so we should start to see one or two messages coming in uh, for those particular um, probes. So let's have a look at our, um, let's have a look in the Telegram queue. We've got nothing at the moment. Oh, we've just had another one come in for the, um, oh, they're all starting to come in now. Let's just go back so we can see what's going on. Okay, so we can see now the bots are all firing. We're, uh, we've seen uh, the, a core temperature uh, message uh, has fired off. Uh, we've seen multiple times we're seeing the website load failure for the Microtik scripting. And this is a good reason why you don't really want to have these things running too regularly because they, uh, you can imagine this could get quite annoying if you're running it every, uh, every minute or so. Uh, and finally there, yeah, we've just had another alert come in for the... Um, the receive threshold from our WAN utilization script. So this is this has been uh, very successful. Uh, we've tested all three of the scripts. We'll actually uh, detect a threshold or a failure. They're all reporting into uh, our Microtik bot. And uh, you can imagine, well, you can probably hear my phone in the background bleeping away uh, because I've actually got the, the Telegram app on there. I get bleeps every time there's a new message. So... Uh, yeah, so this 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 has uh, been a very successful test. Very very pleased with this. So I'm just going to go back to our um, alert, uh, back to our probes, and just stop those uh, from giving us too many messages. I'm just going to reset the thresholds, uh, set back the interface utilization, uh, temperature I'll set back to 35. And the web monitor, I need to fix that by going to the firewall on my router here and just stopping that. Let's get rid of that rule again. And so hopefully that will quieten things down. I'll also uh, change the uh, the web monitor script. We don't need that running every minute. I mean, that's hitting, it's going to hit websites too hard. I don't recommend running it too often at all. I'll set it to 15 minutes for now. I'll set the um, temperature checker back to, I'll run that at 15 minutes as well. And the one utilization, uh, the interface utilization, I'll, uh, I'll leave that for two minutes. It doesn't matter if we run that quite often because um, uh, we're not impacting anybody by that. We can just, we just keep checking the local um, uh, one utilizer, uh, the one interface utilization and the actual telegram reporter. I'll just run that every minute. We want to know fairly quickly if we've uh, got anything coming in that we need to be aware of. Okay, so that's all production ready now. I've got all of the intervals set. I've got the threshold set and we're in good shape. So if I go back to the Microtik bot, you can see we've had quite a few alerts come in. Uh, and this has been a very successful test. Very pleased with it. Um, so that, that pretty much wraps up um, everything I wanted to achieve really with this with the series in terms of creating the probes, having the uh, reporting script and getting and demonstrating uh, how we can get that to alert into the um, bot on Telegram. So I think the only thing that's left to do now is to go back to our um, slide deck and just make sure we have actually hit all of the points I wanted to. We've created the script, Telegram Reporter, we verify that the API key works because we're able to send messages into uh, the Telegram bot. We derive the chat ID. We saw that in the uh, in the debugging. Um, we did a manual check to make sure we could create a message and generate a um, message into the Telegram bot. We verified each of the probes alerts are working. Uh, yeah, you saw it stored as on the file system, the Microtik. We ran it from the scheduler. And so we're um, we're we're all good to go. This is now complete. Oh, the only thing I just remembered: we uh, you probably want to go back um, when you finish doing this and switch off the debugging 
uh, in the uh, in the Telegram reporter. I think I left that on, but I'll leave that as an exercise for you to uh, sort out for yourself. All of the code that you've seen, that's the live code that's actually worked here, that will be available for download from MarketingScripting.com. There's a section um, for YouTube videos, and in there there's a link for the code uh, for every video that you can just download it, and it'll be exactly the same as the code that I've used in this series. Okay, so um, I think that's pretty much everything that we needed to cover. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this series. It's been great fun to put together. I uh, hope it's been educational. hope you've learned plenty from it. Um, as I say, don't forget you can get the book from Amazon. Really would appreciate any likes and um, subscribes that you can give me for the channel. And if, uh, if there's sufficient interest, I may well put some more videos again uh, together again uh, for some additional topics in the future. So thank you very much for joining me. Hope this has been enjoyable and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.